Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost, everyone. I'm going to make an easy card. Well, I wanted to show you the ways that you can do things with dies that you maybe haven't thought about before. So the first thing I'm going to do is I... I cut a card base that's uh, four and a quarter inches across by five and a half inches tall, and then I made this little, um, it's like a craft color, and it is uh, a quarter of an inch smaller, so it is uh, five and a quarter inches tall by four inches wide. So what we're going to do next is we're going to round the corners, and uh, this is from Creative Memories, my corner rounder and if you've never seen uh, one of these this is the one that I have the best results with and it's really inexpensive you usually can find them on eBay for under ten dollars and I think they work great let's go with some glue no I think do I want to glue it down um, no I think what I want to do first is I have some stamps from Rubber Stamp Tapestry, the peg stamp people, that I want to stamp around my brown frame with in a lighter blue color, and I'm going to do that with Distress Oxides because I thought it would make it um, stand out and I'll be able to use some embossing powder over it to make it shiny and make it stand out more. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. I'm just going to be using the salty ocean and I'm going to get my embossing powder so the first thing I'm going to do is these are the three peg stamps I'm using they're just different um, snowflakes forgot the word snowflake of course and I'm just going to do uh, like one section at a time I'm going to do into the inside into the outside and straight on like that. I might not even use it because now that I have this container that I keep it in, I have had better results with just tipping it into the, putting it into the, onto the background and then just tipping it into my little container. In case you wondered. You want to preheat your to your heat gun about five to ten seconds, and then when you go from this to your paper, you only want to go long enough until your image changes to a shiny look. Back to our stamping again, and then we'll take our little one and we'll do some fill work. We'll just try to avoid getting it all over that. Let's heat it up and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, I think our frame looks good. Now I think what we're going to do is glue this to our background like that. I don't think I have a little smudge on that side so we'll just flip it over to this side um, I don't I think I went around the corners on this too I don't think I need to worry about um, raising it up on dimensionals because we're gonna have so many layers of paper underneath that I think we're gonna have um, it's, the look is gonna be fine I think I'm gonna round the outside corners first and then decide if we really want to have everything rounded or not so I put some tear tape on the back and uh, wet glue so that I'd be able to move it around if I needed to. I just wanted to make sure that we kind of had a more consistent look to it. I know it's not even side to side. I don't really care. It's it's a homemade card. Perfection is not in the name of that. It's just uh, the way it is. So the next thing we're going to do is I have punched out of a die a whole bunch of punches so when you do this I don't know if you've uh, if you've ever done this before but this is my die and I'm gonna show you when I poke it out use your pokey tool 
I thought I would kind of do this like die die making or die cutting 101 so that you would see the ways that you can use your dies in um, in a new and different ways or in layering ways that where you're you're um, taking the same image and and punching it over and over again so that you end up with like in my case um, with this one in particular all I want in the brown section which is what I'm playing with right now all I want are the deer okay so here is our deer I'm gonna move that one back for a second and I'm just going to poke out the little pieces I don't need initially and then okay the first thing you want to do is these are the horns that are attached to the top section your goal is to make sure that you don't break that line I'm trying to make sure that that horn is the same as it should be okay I don't care about any of this I only care about my deer so I'm going to do his tail. I'm just going to tear that. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to snip there so it's easier to get to his tail. You want to snip, snip to the very edge of the die, like that. Same with his legs. You want to make sure... Let me get this piece out of here, too, because it's bugging me. Okay. All we want is the deer. So every piece that is... A part of this that is not part of the deer we don't want and we want to really be conscious of the bottom line of our dye I know he's kind of hard to see because he's the same color as my background and I apologize for that so that's that deer and that's this deer Okay, so I cut it out of this silver foil, and I decided I like the silver foil better than the white. And see, these are the things that happen when I start to make anything. I start to second-guess my original plan and go, well, I like this better. So that's what I did here. I really like this better. Anyway, so here's my dilemma. I, As you know, I cut out a brown layer so I have deer that I can put in here in brown then I cut out a green layer of the whole thing and cut out this um, tree section and I could if I wanted to I could cover those all up but now that I see this just as is I like it better so I'm looking for a vote. You know how I always like to take these things to a vote. I can put these deer in the inside, right? Um, I'm thinking that we're just going to glue this bad boy down and call it cuter than a button. What do you say? Anybody want to vote on that? The polls are open. I'm just going to put some wet glue on the back and hopefully the wet glue will come out. Ever since, you know how I love this tip and it was the greatest thing ever till I bent the the okay here's this is really funny can you see the nice bend on that stupid thing anyway uh, ever since I bent that it's been a burden for me to get anything out of it so I'm going to plan B which is um, a different bottle that I got from AliExpress that had 10 different tips on it so here's what I did with my AliExpress bottle when I can't get anything to come out of it I just um, take the tip off of it and um, run it around the edges and then I'm going to put a piece of paper there because you know I'm going to end up with glue on it anyway and we'll just put this right here now if you've ever done this and you're using foil you'll know that your foil is going to get glue on the outside of it and it'll look uh, milky and if it does what I suggest you doing is wait until it dries you're going to hold it down to make sure everything attaches but you're going to wait until it dries and then once it's dried then you can go over it with a very damp cloth and if you do that you'll end up having your um, your 
milky, yucky look to your paper go away. The last thing we have to do is I have Happy New Year. I've decided I'm beyond the Christmas stage now, and I think I'm going to put that in the inside because on the outside it's really hard to see. And so we're going to put that on the inside. I wanted this to be, oh, you know, layered, but um, if you don't, when you're doing cards, if you aren't willing to change up your game plan when something looks better, then, you know, what are you doing this for? So that's why I went from the layered look of many different colors to just the blue foil because I thought the blue foil looked better but when you're doing things it's up to you how you want to do things I really um, just wanted to make sure that I was making this something that was pretty I should have cut the word year apart huh let me snip that off that looks a little weird oh, who cares I'll leave it on there come on stick stick down there. Let's see how our front looks. Okay, let me show you what I would do to get this cleaned off. You're going to take your cloth. Make sure it's something that's soft because if you don't get a soft cloth you might end up getting scratches in your paper and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my fingertip in the wet part and I'm just kind of gently going over just the blue if you can try to get just over the blue and then it wipes off because it's a foil it really does a nice job of acting like a resist with that with anything that's um, sticking to it there look how much better it looks aren't you impressed how pretty it is now I don't know. Was that the way to go with it? What do you think? Should I have done done all the colors? I don't know. I like it. Okay. There's my inside Happy New Year. Now all we need to do is stamp it. Because I made that for you. And then the last thing we need is an envelope. And I have ones that are Christmassy. But I think they will also, some of them will work well with this. At least I hope so. Stockings. What do you think about that one? Good enough. We're going to use it. So there's our card. I hope you enjoyed it. And you give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media. Because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.